ready for this video. Got my Nike shirt on. What is up everyone? It is Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. And so today's video is super exciting because we are going to be talking about some of the Nike shoes that I worked on working as a paralegal at an IP law firm. So at my old job, I was a paralegal working with patents for Nike shoes. I was working there for about two years working with design patents. So when you have a shoe, you might be patenting different parts of the shoe so that other people can't copy those significant aspects of your design. So in my two years working there, we filed a ton of patents, worked on a bunch of different shoes. So I picked out 10 shoes for this video that I thought were cool looking or maybe not so cool looking and we're going to talk about them. So starting off, all of these shoes have been announced but they may not have been released yet so they might not be on the market yet for you to buy but they have been announced as an upcoming shoe on different shoe websites. I thought this shoe was really unique because of the stitching on the shoe. It looks sort of like a baseball or a baseball glove. For me personally, I don't think I would ever wear this shoe. It is cool looking, but I don't think I could pull this one off. And it's very fascinating with design patents. You are filing the patents with the USPTO, the US Patent and Trademark Office, and with these design patent applications, you include line drawings of the part of the shoe that you want to patent. So it's not just, okay, here's the entire shoe, I'm going to patent the whole thing, but the attorneys, they are working with the client Nike to pick out visible things that they want to patent. So for example, for this LD Vapor Waffle shoe, they might be trying to patent that stitching pattern on the upper because that is a unique part of the shoe. So Converse is a brand that falls under Nike, so even though it has a different name, Converse, Converse shoes are also technically Nike as well. This shoe is very interesting. It has that typical Converse design. I don't know, I'm really not a fan of the cutouts in the upper here. It looks sort of like a dinosaur skin or shoes that you would find in the apocalypse. <laughs> to me, I'm not really a fan of this shoe. I would probably not buy this. They just look sort of worn out, even though it's a brand new shoe that you're buying. If you're filing patents for this, the special unique things would probably be those triangle cutouts on this shoe. This one is also cool looking with the two circular designs, very like futuristic looking, like, oh, you're going to get hypnotized by the circles here in the shoe. It's very sleek looking also with the all black. I think these are cool looking but I also probably could not rock them. I remember these shoes very vividly from my time working because in addition to the regular patent application, at the end of each quarter, we also file these massive patent applications, basically filing patent applications for all of the shoe parts that were passed on by the client. You might have multiple patents for these circles on this shoe, and so I remember in this massive patent application at the end of the quarter. I had to go in for this shoe and then hand draw all of these circles on the shoe to file a patent application for it and that was just very very difficult. I really like this shoe. I love thick midsoles. So like the upper is the upper portion of the shoe, the midsole is that middle portion, and then the outsole is the bottom of the shoe. So thick midsoles I am a big fan of, and this shoe has a very thick midsole, probably giving you like two inches of extra height here. I really am a fan of chunky shoes. For patent applications here, you might be trying to file a patent for the knit pattern on 
the upper and so you're like oh that's just like a holy pattern but no a lot of times they are filing patents for the knitting of the top of the shoe so it might be like a crisscross knitting or just a straight line knitting or two different knittings next to each other that they're patenting this shoe uh, it is very interesting looking but I don't think I would buy it and I'm personally not a fan of it it also gives me dinosaur vibes I don't know like these big circles on the midsole outsole here just sort of look like big dinosaur eggs to me but I don't know these big egg shapes on there ugh, I'm not a fan of but it's these things that are the unique parts of this shoe we probably did file patents for these big circular shapes on the side and the bottom of the shoe because those are special looking similarly the lacing of this shoe is also unique looking it's not like a regular lace it looks like I think this shoe is very very unique and fun and fresh looking although I probably would not buy it I don't think I could rock this shoe but I do like the weaving pattern of the upper here as well as the laces in the top and the front filing patents you would probably file a patent for this upper weave pattern because that is pretty unique looking you would also probably file patents for the lacing and the loop lacing structure in the front of the shoe how it looks sort of like a latch with the lacing that is also pretty unique these are some big boots i really like them i think i would buy boots like this they also have that thick chunkiness that i personally am a fan of and something cool about these boots is that these shoes were actually a part of the 2022 olympic athletes gear that they would wear when they're going to stand on the podium after receiving a medal so this was a part of the the Olympic outfits sometimes with patents mostly we're filing patents for shoes but sometimes you might get other things like during the World Cup we are filing a lot of patents for the jerseys and the pants that World Cup athletes would wear so most of the times it is shoes but sometimes you might get like apparel like shirts or shorts or leggings next up is probably the most out there of the shoes for this video personally I'm not a fan. They are like green mossy looking shoes. They are very hairy as well. Like it is not just one piece of this fluff on there. It is a ton of fluff that sticks out. It sort of reminds me of chia pets where you could grow grass in your own house. This kind of fluffy, mossy looking shoe. Low key, I think my cats might try peeing on it because they think it's grass. And so for patents here, definitely filed patents for that green grassy look at the top because that's the whole shoe. That is what makes this shoe special. I think these are pretty cute. Like I said, that chunky midsole, I am a big fan of. I think if I were to get a pair of chunky sandals, it'd be more like Doc Martin sandals rather than an athletic sandal like this where this kind of material, it looks like you'd wear it to like the beach or the pool or something like that. So these sandals, it's a cute design, but I'm not sure the functionality, I guess, where would you be wearing these chunky sandals to? I really like this shoe. I think I would buy this shoe for myself. It's got that chunky midsole. I do like this midsole. I showed my friend these shoes when I saw them get announced and she was not a fan of this shoe. She would not buy them for herself. I think this shoe looks coolish. Like you're going to go walk on space with these big midsoles. Looks like you got airbags on your feet. And I remember this Air Max Scorpion shoe because this was the shoe that I filed the most patents for ever at my time working here. Literally it was like 30 patents for this one shoe. They were trying to patent a ton of different parts of the shoe. So like I said it's not just like whoa one patent for one shoe. They picked out 30 parts of this shoe that they want to patent. 
these big circle airbag looking things, those had a ton of different patents. It might just be one patent for one of the circles, another patent for having two circles, and then a third patent for having all three circles in there. So yeah, those are 10 Nike shoes from my time working as an IP paralegal, working with design patents. If you have any questions about anything, definitely leave a comment down below. If you would want to see more videos like this, because I worked on a ton of shoes, definitely could have some parts for this video. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up to help me out with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time.